Hello and welcome to this video on acid base strength. My name is Ari Kim and in this video we'll be drawing out the dissociation reaction for weak acids and bases. Recall from earlier videos that bronsted lowry acids are molecules that donate protons and bronsted lowry bases are molecules that accept protons. The relative strength of an acid is compared to the hydronium ion. An acid that is stronger than a hydronium will fully dissociate to donate a proton to water and to form the hydronium ion. None of the strong acid will remain in solution, which means that the strongest acid that exists in solution will be the hydronium ion itself, since any acid that is stronger will only dissociate to form more hydronium ion. Strong bases are all metal hydroxides and will fully dissociate an aqueous solution into metal cation and a hydroxide anion. In this respect, strong bases really highlight the Arrhenius definition of a base. Again, because of this classification, the strongest base that exists in solution will be the hydroxide ion, since any base that is stronger will not stay as is and will dissociate to form more hydroxide ion. While strong acids and bases change the pH directly from dissociation, the pH of weak acids and bases exists because of the relationship with the solvent, which is usually water. Water has many amazing properties, one of which is the fact that it's amphoteric. Briefly, an amphoteric species is one that can both accept or lose protons, and this definition is covered in the series describing the water autoionization. A weak acid will mostly stay as an acid, but some will give up a proton to water to form the hydronium ion. An acid that is weaker than the hydronium ion will mostly stay in its protonated form and is what we classify as a weak acid. The more the acid wants to give up that proton, the more we go to the right side of the reaction, the lower the pH, increasing the acidity. A weak base will mostly stay as a base, but some will accept a proton from water to form the hydroxide ion. A weak base will gain a proton from water and become positively charged and the resulting hydroxide ion is what causes the change in pH. However, weak bases mostly stay in its deprotonated form. The more the base wants to accept the proton, the more we go to the right side of the reaction, the higher the pH, increasing the basicity. In our apply question, we're asked to draw the dissociation reaction for acetic acid in water. Acetic acid is a weak acid with a carboxylic acid group, and in the presence of water, will donate a proton to water to form the acetate anion and the hydronium cation. Because it is weak, the majority of acetic acid will stay in the acid form. The second applied question involves drawing the dissociation reaction for ammonia in water. We know that ammonia is a weak base since it has no hydroxides to donate and therefore will accept a proton from water to form the ammonium cation and the hydroxide anion. Again, most of the ammonia will stay deprotonated because it is a weak base. We'll discuss in other videos about the information required to decide whether an acid or base is strong or weak. Make sure you're able to draw dissociation reactions for weak acids and bases since this will be the foundation for more quantitative analysis in acid-base chemistry.